Hey, Dan. Yeah, good morning, Cody. Uh, it's the most common known condition you've probably never heard of. It's called dysautonomia. 70 million people have it. Most of us don't know what it is. And you're looking at Aubrey, who's 11 years old, and she has this. We're going to talk to Aubrey in just a moment, but right now we're going to talk to her mom, Julie Hunter, um, who is, is going to explain a little bit more about this. And, and how did you discover that your daughter had, and do we call it a disease? Yeah, you can call it a disease. Um, she found out at six years old through Stanford University, and she was fainting a lot and getting sick really often. And so that's kind of what they go, oh, we got to look at this a little bit further. So diagnosed with dysautonomia. Okay, and, and you told, she, she couldn't sweat. She can't sweat on her own, so she needs a medication to help her with that. Okay, and yet here we are watching her uh, play softball. And in fact, we'll have her stop for just a second. Uh, Aubrey and, and her and her coach Josh over here. So you're not only a softball player, but you like to play soccer as well, right? Yes, yeah, I what do. What do you think you're better at? Uh, I don't really know. I think I'm pretty good at both. Yeah. And you want to go to Stanford? You said because why? Because I don't want to be a patient there anymore. I also want to be an athlete there and a student. Tell me about this. How did you know that something was was different? How does your body feel when something's not right? Um, I usually get migraines, and I also um, have a lot of leg pain. And um, I would usually like walk diagonally, and that's how you, my parents and other people can tell when I'm about to faint. But yet you're playing sports, and, yeah. and to, the, to the average person, you look normal. So what, what is it that you're doing different to make sure? Because you want to play sports pr professionally when you're, when you're in college. Yes. Um, I can't um, do physical activity after sports because after sports my, uh, my legs usually hurt so if I do anything more I might like get a migraine and then I might like faint mm -hmm. and so I always have to take it um, easy afterwards and just make sure that I, I'm not doing any too much. Well, you know somebody that's not going to cut you slack is your, your coach over here. So why don't we, why don't we bring him in, uh, jo Josh, right now. Hey, so Josh, what did you see in Aubrey right now when it came to her sports and, and how she's overcome her, her disability? Well, it's her toughness. Um, she's truly a dysautonomia warrior. Um, it's her work ethic. She puts a lot of effort into a practice. She needs to do extra practice after extra practice just to keep her body in condition. Mm -hmm. um, She's an exceptional athlete, that helps, but she's even a better kid, and it's her, it's her big heart that really gets her going. Do you feel different at all when you're out there? Because you did get a, a service dog recently. Yes, I got my service dog, Haley, and um, she's uh, been doing great so far, and um, for sports, um, I do act different when I'm out there. I usually act like a lot tougher <laughs> when I'm out there, but at school I don't act that tough. But um, people, when they see me at school, they think, oh, she's just a normal kid. But once they see me on the field, they're like, oh, my gosh, is that actually Aubrey? Yeah. Well, you're great. We saw you do a little sports today, so yeah. congratulations on that. Good luck with Stanford. Go. What's her mascot? The Trees. All right. Go Trees. All right. We'll see you in Stanford in a few years. Hopefully, Mom can afford college or you get a scholarship, too. Yeah. So, all right. So that's the latest from here in Woodland this morning. And again, this is something, Cody and, and, and Halisa, that 70 million people have and that uh, most of us just aren't aware of. Yeah. But they're trying to get awareness. And, and she goes and she talks to high schools and, and the elementary schools as well just to get the word out here. What a great uh, sports person and spokesperson.